Iceland volcano emergency declared over volcano eruption concerns. Sunday the 12th of November 2023. According to various sources like BBC and the Wall Street Journal, Iceland has declared a state of emergency after a series of earthquakes raises fears of a volcanic eruption. Now, you may remember way back in 2010 where there was a volcano eruption in Iceland, that's 13 years ago, and it grounded European airspace. I was stuck in Doha in Qatar for five days, which was a great shame because I couldn't go anywhere and I was getting paid and living in a five-star hotel. Let's read what the BBC has to say about this. Now, excuse my Icelandic pronunciation. I'm sure it's going to be a disaster. Authorities have ordered overnight thousands of people living in the southwestern town, town of Grindavik to evacuate as a precaution. The Icelandic Meteorological Office says there's a considerable risk of an eruption on or just off the Reklijans Peninsula. The probability of an eruption has increased since this morning. This is eight hours ago, as the time of recording is twelve. Sorry, is two o'clock in the afternoon. So basically, six a.m. my time when this happened. If that makes sense to you, the pop. The probability is increasing. An eruption could start at any time in the next few days, according to the statement. Thousands of tremors have been recorded around the nearby volcano in recent weeks. They have been concentrated in Iceland's peninsula, which has remained dominant, dormant to volcanic activity for 800 years before the 2021 eruption. It goes on to say, in a statement on Saturday, yesterday, the agency said a tunnel of magna, or molten rock, that extends northeast across this area, some 10 kilometres or 6 miles further inland, was estimated at a depth of less than 800 metres, compared to 1,500 metres earlier in the day. Now it starts to make sense. On Thursday, the Increased seismic activity in the area promoted closure of the nearby Blue Lagoon Lake. More than 20,000 tremors have been recorded in southwest Iceland since late October. Iceland's Civil Protection Agency said the decision to evacuate came after the MID, the MID could not rule out a magma tunnel that is currently forming and could reach this city of Grindavich. And on Friday, the agency said that people must leave the town, but also emphasised this is not an emergency evacuation, calling on them to remain calm because there's a good amount of time to react. There is no immediate danger. There, there is no immediate danger imminent. The evacuation is primarily to prevent the safety of the residents of this city as a principal aim, it added. All roads into the town of around 4,000 people are closed rather than that for emergencies so the emergency services can get in and can get, can get out. Another article Coming out with this one is Iceland's one of the most geo most geographical active regions in the world, with around 30 active volcano sites. Volcanic eruptions occur when magma, which is lighter than the solid rock around it, rises to the Earth's surface and deep below it. In July, a volcano erupted in that area, drawing tourists to the world's newest baby volcano. This site was dormant for eight centuries until eruptions in 2021 and 2022 and 2023, as we quoted already. And one more article, I do believe this is from the Wall Street Journal. 
a barrage of hundreds of earthquakes, including two exceeding a magnitude of five and at least seven topping 4.5, rattled the Rek Jans Peninsula on Friday. The seismic swarm suggests the eruption of the area of volcano in hours or days ahead of the prompted, um, prompted. The Icelandic Meteorological Office declared a civil protection emergency level. Now, I don't know if this is hitting mainstream media or not, but I do remember being heavily involved in the 2010 uh, volcano again that i was stuck in qatar then five days later i managed to get a flight to scotland but we ended up in london and then i couldn't move from london because i was stuck there and i was meant to be going to barcelona it was quite a long story basically i had 10 days of a holiday in well uh, Doha, London and Barcelona before I actually had to go to work a long, long time ago. Is this the same situation which is going to happen? They're saying this earthquake or this volcano, if it erupts, is going to have more uh, carbon dioxide than we can ever produce. Is it going to do another volcanic ash cloud and it's going to shut down the European airspace again? We just don't know and we just have to wait and see. The people, the meteorologists and the seismologists, etc., are possibly working incredibly hard, but it's one of these things that we can never predict 100%, but we can sort of like prevent, and prevention is better than cure. So the people nearby, even though it's a small population of 4,000, yet yeah, absolutely I agree, they need to be evacuated just in case. If nothing happens, well, Okay, you can go back home. Better to be safe than sorry. Your thoughts, your comments, your point of view, please, in the comment section. And if you do like this channel, do consider my work by joining um, the Super Chats, Super Thanks, um, and Patreon. All the links are in the description below. Thumbs up and subscribe would be most excellent. God bless all. Thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.